Also tonight, Greenville's police and fire departments are improving the way they communicate on duty. They've just completed an extensive upgrade to a new radio system. New at 11, Kristen Escow explains how the new system could potentially save money in the long run. Brooke and Mark, police officers and firefighters in Greenville say their old radio system sometimes forced them to use their own cell phones when responding to an incident. And they say the new radio system has already made an impact during an incident last week. About 50 first responders on the scene of a trench collapse in Oakwood just last week. Greenville Fire Chief Russell Thompson says scenes like this are easier to navigate with the new radio system. The whole time while we were responding down there, we were on the tactical channel that they were using for that operation. So we could hear all the communications going on for our whole time, the whole travel distance. And that's simply something we could not have ever achieved on VHF. 7 CAC 71 Direct. The new radios are part of the multi agency radio communication system, also known as MARCS, which is run by the state. It's an upgrade from the previously used VHF radios. Lieutenant Scott Ross says the new radios allow first responders from different agencies to communicate from anywhere in the state. Since it's a statewide system, if we go anywhere in the state, we can contact our dispatch center. Officials say the new radios carry a much stronger signal. They say the old VHF radios didn't work outside city limits and could barely be used inside large buildings like schools. The new K-8 school that's out on Ohio Street, when that was built, we went in there and found out all kinds of issues talking out of the building on VHF. Um, now that the MARC system is up, everything inside that school, we can go in there just about anywhere on a MARC's radio and get out of the building. Greenville Safety and Service Director Kirk Garrison says the new radio system is also meant to save the city money over the long term. He says the city had to purchase its own radio equipment at about $150,000, in addition to a $230,000 upgrade at the dispatch center. But for a monthly fee, the state takes care of the rest. By being on that state system, the state maintains the towers, uh, the antennas uh, that enable us to, to talk on the system. And other agencies in Dark County are still in the process of upgrading to the Marks radio system. Officials say Greenville's EMS unit will use those new radios once Dark County completes its upgrade. Kristen Escow, 2 News, working for you.